Good morning, Eagles. I'm Brett. And I'm Emma. Welcome to another great day at Citrus Grove Elementary. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now, and now for the announcements. Teachers, anchor, and now for some cafeteria expectations. Teachers, encourage your students to earn all three Eagle Bucks for following all the cafeteria expectations and take time each day to find out how many Eagle Bucks were earned and why. Students, use inside voices. Eat your food, stay seated and raise your hands, use kind words, clean up your area, and keep hands and feet and objects to yourself. At this time, we want to remind everyone that our school uniform policy is that students must wear any shade of blue, green, or white short sleeve, or long sleeve collar shirt with khaki, navy blue, black, blue, or black denim bottoms. <coughs> Shoes must be closed toe and closed heel. Remember, teachers, please check your students at this time to send any student that is missing one of these items to Ms. Sulu's office. All Eagle families are invited to Science Night at the Groove Grove on Tuesday, April 4th from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Daytona Beach Museum of Arts and Science will be pro providing inflatable planetarium and exciting hands-on science activities in the cafeteria. Fifth grade student, student science projects will be displayed in the media center. There will be lots of fun things to do at the Grove on, on Science Night, so make sure you join us. Do you like to cook? Receive a breakfast cookbook when you buy school lunch on March 29th. And now over to Miss Williams. Good morning, Citrus Grove Elementary. This is Mrs. Williams with a few words of wisdom. Think about a time when you had to do something that was really hard for you like a homework assignment, a project, or a chore at home. Maybe you wanted to shy away from it, not do it, because it just seemed too hard. Now listen to these words. Don't shy away from a big challenge. You may surprise yourself. Next time you have something that is very hard to do, remember these words and don't be shy or afraid. Face the challenge. Give it your best shot. You may be surprised to find that you are stronger and smarter than you think. This message was picked especially for our third graders who are going to tackle that FSA tomorrow. So something to think about, this is Mrs. Williams. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Before I announce positive referrals, I have some very exciting news. Yesterday was the 45th annual Students Art Exhibit at the Gateway Center in DeBerry. And all schools, all art teachers were allowed to submit lots of artwork and only one was picked from each school. So congratulations to Allison Fulton in second grade in Miss DeAngelo's class. Her piece was picked. And even more exciting is there is a new award. All 70 art teachers could be nominated for the Art Teacher of the Year Award. And guess who won? Our Mr. G. He is the first winner of the Art Teacher of the Year. So let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> When you see Mr. G today or this week, be sure to thank him for all he does for us in the world of art and congratulate him on a job well done. Speaking of that, let's celebrate these kindergartners. From Miss Moss, congratulations to Jelena Fernandez. Jelena has been doing a great job on writing. She's completed all of her assignments and she is a hard worker. Keep it up. From Mr. Spears and Miss Simcoe, congratulations to Isaiah Rivera. He had such an awesome week when we returned from spring break. He's focused, following directions, and participating. Keep it up. From Mr. Sign, congratulations to Juliana Perino. Juliana is an excellent writer and loves to add her stories to Seesaw. Keep it up. From Ms. Ferguson, congratulations to Damian Holmes. Damian is rocking his math facts. Also from Ms. Ferguson, congratulations to Logan Phillips. He's worked hard at adjusting his behavior and is helpful and kind. So proud of you. From Ms. Hawa and Ms. Bennett, congratulations to Trenton Phillips. Trenton has worked hard to learn all of his kindergarten sight words, and I am so proud. Way to go, Trenton. From Ms. Hunnish, congratulations to Liam Kudlick. So proud of you, Liam, for working hard and learning all those sight words. 
Congratulations to all these kindergartners. Have a magnificent Monday. I'll see everybody out at the PE Pavilion at 1.20 today for our FSA pep rally. Who's going to turn into an ice cream sundae? You'll have to wait and see. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Miss Williams. And now over to game show. Good morning and welcome to our FSA game show. We are going to see if you are ready to rock the FSA. Here are our two contestants. I'm Zach and I like fish. Yay! I'm Anthony and I like pig. Woohoo! What did you do when you first get the FSA test? Begin. No. no. We preview. Yay! Yay! Should you choose the harder or easier questions first? Hard. No. Easy. Yay. Yay! What should you do when you were done? Put your pencil down and stare into space. No. no. Repeat your answer. Yay. Yay! The winner gets an orange and the loser gets a lime. Now back to the anchors. Oh, thank you, game show. Oh, thank you for watching, Eagles. Have a marvelous Monday. And remember, Eagles do their best and nothing less. Goodbye. Bye. Have a great day. Good luck on Good the luck FSA. On FSA.